way to uh, make journalism and media and uh, I, this is how I see it for the future for young people at least uh, no boundaries and uh, no not too much uh, professionalism because sometimes that limits you and people got to be flexible a lot of participation a lot of moving around and a lot of freshness in the way things are um, being covered we are six uh, editors in Paris and what's for one for each language and the basic stuff is motivation because then everything is about volunteer and we meet some incredible guys ready to build some debates, to organize and to receive, to host some journalists to do some reporting on the ground. More or less we have uh, I'd say 15 or 20 teams uh, all around Europe that are uh, surrounding the six editors in Paris. So it goes now from Western Europe to the Balkans and Turkey. We had three days of amazing workshop and brainstorming in India and we're going to have something exceptional because we're going to be in the Balkans in eight countries sending 50 journalists, we're going to be in uh, all over Europe uh, for the Green Europe on the Ground project sending 80 journalists uh, all around Europe so 2010-2011 will be a big big year and we'll have also other big events in February with Shake Up Europe celebrating the 10th anniversary. We had 36 participants and so much energy people coming from all around Europe Macedonia, Croatia, Bosnia, uh, France, England, Rome. I mean, it was just a big, bad, bad experience. Yeah. Hi, my name is Atsa Tudorovic from Serbia. And I consume 2.76 planets. Because, not by my fault, because um, the heating and uh, uh, public transportation in Belgrade Hi, my name is Bistra, I'm from Sofia, Bulgaria, and my footprint is two, exactly. I'd like to make it even less, but I don't promise anything on travel and meat. I have to use my car because I have to conserve my job. Maybe I will. I must change job. Uh, hi, I'm Ante from Zagreb. Uh, I'm a vegetarian. I go to <coughs> university on foot. I don't travel much and I still consume 1.8 bites. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> weekend we have sort of disseminated that message across the network from London to uh, um, the very end of the Balkans it seems uh, up until Istanbul and all these people in all these different cities are interested in participating and contributing to that debate and making it happen and sort of um, and, and for free and for, for the passion of things and I think that's a really remarkable thing that no one ever talks about Cath Babel what it looks like from above um, it's a unique thing happening across Europe and the Balkans now and Turkey so enjoy do we look good? Yeah. We don't have spot on our faces or anything like that? Well, for the new people, the new Babelians around Europe, 
it's a great opportunity to come and uh, to have uh, an opportunity to meet the other people from the network, to get to know really in details what we do, to get um, engaged in uh, the project. <laughs> Allora, ragazzi, Caffè Babel sta al top, eh? cioè 100% di pura follia con i progetti Orient Express e Green Europe on the ground. Partecipate, partecipate, partecipate. On the ground!